Hi. Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can prepare Report to Viewer and prepare your first report using Visual Studio 2019. So let's start. I have already prepared a demo application for Report Viewer. First things that you need to do, you need to install a few extensions if you haven't done so. So in order to do that, go to Extensions menu, then click on Manage Extensions. Now in Manage Extensions, go to the search box and write RDLC. This is going to be our first extension that is required to install into your Visual Studio. So Microsoft RDLC Report Designer. So make sure this is installed. The other one that you need to install as well, you can write reporting in the text box and then find or locate Microsoft Reporting Services projects. This might take a little time while downloading. It depends on the speed of your internet. Once you're done, close Visual Studio to complete the installation for these two extensions. After they are done, then reopen Visual Studio. The second step, you need to install one package. Right-click on New Project, go to Manage New Get Packages. And then again here, write Reporting. Okay, so now scroll down to find Microsoft.ReportingServices.ReportViewerControl.WinForms and install this package into your project. After you're done, close. Now you need to add Report a Viewer. First, just copy the location where your project is located. Soon you will know why I need this step. Go to the toolbox and locate Report a Viewer. If you can't find it, then you need to right click any area inside the toolbox and then click choose items. Then click browse and navigate to your project. This is why I copied the path of my project earlier. Now when you come here, go to packages. So this is the folder where the packages that you install reside inside. And then open Microsoft.Reporting Services, the one that we installed earlier in, in UGET. Then go to LIB, NET40, and find the DLL Microsoft.ReportViewer.WinForms. Click Open. Once you do this step, you will be able to see ReportViewer as one of .NET Framework components. Then click OK. Now you should be able to find the control report to viewer. So just a drag and drop into your form and then click on the smart small tag here and then click doc in parent container. And now we are almost ready. Now the next step that we need to do that we need to prepare our RDLC report, our file report. So go to add new item and search for report okay give a name to your report and then click add okay so now i have created my report report1.rdlc and now i'm in design mode so go to your toolbox and then find the control that you need to add i'm going in my case to use table and then here it will show me a wizard asking me to choose my data source, the type of data source, just keep it as a database. Click next. What type of database model do you want to use? Dataset, and it's the only option. Then here you need to choose your connection string. If you haven't set up connection string earlier in your project, then just go to new connection. And then type here your uh, SQL Server database and instance name. Okay, if you don't know, you need, you can refer to services inside Windows and see what is the name of your SQL Server and instance name. And then click on test connection. I'm pretty much ready. And then I'm going to choose my database. 
click OK. Now my connection string is ready. I click on Next. And here it's the place where you need to choose your table, where the data is coming from. If you have a joint table, joint query, then you may think of preparing store procedure. But now the data I'm fetching simply coming from one table. Then I click, you can change the name for your data set. Or just I am, I'm going to keep it with the default name. Click finish. Now here you see I got the definition for my fields inside the table. Now you click OK. And here is my table. OK, now you need to choose what kind of data you need to present inside your report. So for example, I'm going to show ID, first name, last name, and probably I'm interested to show the date of birth. Okay. Now the final step that you need to do, either you can go to your, to your report viewer and click on the smart tag and choose your report from this way, or there is another way where just simply you go to the form, to your report viewer, okay, then go to the load event and write these lines. So the first thing, I'm going to call my table adapter. Okay, so this one I didn't program, but one, when I was setting, but when I was preparing my data set, so this was already prepared for me, so I'm going to call the table adapter to fill my student data set. Okay, again, these I didn't program. Those were already taken care by Visual Studio when I prepared my dataset earlier during the process. So you call this function, fill, and then you specify the report name that you, you like to show inside the report viewer. So in my case, it's report1.rdlc. And don't forget to include your namespace. This is very important. First, the namespace, then the report name. Then you go to data sources and add a new report data source. Here you give the name of your data source, which is dataset1. If you're not sure what is the name for your dataset, you can go back to your report, locate your table, go to properties, and see the dataset name. So it's dataset1. Okay, so dataset1, and then simply I'm taking the data from my test one data set okay, from the first table which include or which includes my data and finally you can call refresh report function now we are ready to observe the output just go to debug start without debugging and here we go if you see that I got my data presented inside my report viewer now for date of birth, simply because I don't have any data inside my table. So if you check my table, I don't have any data for date of birth. This is why here the, the field for date of birth is empty. Okay, so that's all for how to prepare report viewer. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave it in the Xbox, if you have found this video is helpful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel to receive new videos. Thank you for watching.